Kate Moss is best known for her works Labyrinth and Sepulchre, part of a trilogy of epic adventure novels set in Carcassonne in France. Labyrinth was number one in the UK paperback charts for six months, selling nearly two million copies. Sepulchre was also a number one international bestseller. Moss's first novel, Eskimo Kissing, was published to great acclaim in 1996, followed in 1998 by the biotech time traveller thriller Crucifix Lane. She's also co-founder of the prestigious Orange Prize for Fiction. Her Theatre Live play, Syrinx, sees her turn her attention to the plight and interrelationships of four women, the central figure of which is a retiring head teacher with some unfinished business to resolve. I'm one of those very irritating people that had a happy childhood, which has been very difficult for my writing, let me tell you. Um, I, I was born in London, but we moved to Chichester in West Sussex when I, the, that whole cold, hard winter of 1962. And we now all live here together, my parents, my mother-in-law, the dog, the children, um, and my sister's both nearby as well. So um, we, we very much feel, I feel very much part of a particular place although it's the first time really that I've written about it in this play. When um, I sat down to write a play, firstly, the brevity of it was incredibly attractive, but also immediately very intimidating, because you don't have time to settle in, you don't have time to be baggy. Every word has to do a job, or it must go. Um, my novels are historical. And suddenly I was faced with writing a play, you know, the brief was contemporary domestic setting, no more than four characters. But everybody had to be everything to create an entirely imaginary world, but with so few resources is what felt like. That was very intimidating. And of course, if it's contemporary, then people know. People reading the script, actors reading the script, the viewers watching, they know what women in their late 50s, early 60s, sitting around in 2009, they know what they're like. So I felt much more exposed, oddly. I felt that I couldn't put my own veneer on it in quite the way you do. But truthfully, once I started writing, it was an utter joy. It will be, you know, it would be very dishonest that it's my name on this. It should be, you know, a wonderfully collaborative writing experience. It's all of us are doing it, so it's good. One of the uh, things that I've noticed is that, boy, the world of theatre, there are some very big issues there. Um, and I've been reading over many years the fact that a lot of directors will say, and I, I realise this is very legitimate, we would cast more older women, but nobody writes plays for them. The other thing, I suppose, that has been a surprise about writing a play is how very nervous I was about starting. And I realise it's because I really think this project matters, that I really think theatre matters. So I didn't want to bugger it up. She wants to have an absolutely clear conscience on the day she leaves the school. She wants, to, when she shuts the door of that school, to know there's no unfinished business, maybe, I don't know. Yes, yes, yes. absolutely. absolutely. You know, she's someone that's organised everything, it's all straightforward, she's always known what she's doing, and this is a wrinkle in the carpet. The key moment is when the red light goes on. What then? What then? Um, I just don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to feel an enormous sense of release that whatever happens now, I can't do anything about it. I'm surrounded by experts, and they know. So I suspect that what I feel is really excited, really proud of everybody else, and thinking, boy, it's going to be a long 27 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>